Alright, this is a video response to Sal from the Khan Academy uh, for your light bulb switching brain teaser problem. <laughs> uh, I, I actually I, I program in C++ and I wrote a program to actually do it. Um, I'm going to explain it a little bit because I have uh, I make programming videos sometimes I haven't made any in a long time. So, uh, instead of uh, just doing a hundred light bulbs uh, like you did, um, I made it so that the person can enter any number. Um, so, or they're prompted right when the program starts to enter any number of lights um, or light bulbs, whatever. And then I use a vector, uh, a Booleanian vector, just the logical true or false on and off. Um, I thought it would be appropriate for this. Um, and then it declares how many there are, which is whatever they enter. And they're all start on off, because that's how you said the program would start. Um, and I already checked that everything works. If I type in 100, it'll tell me, you know, there's 10 on or whatever. But, um, okay, and there's two for loops in this. Uh, the first one... Uh, I have to declare it at 1 uh, instead of 0 because in this um, you can't divide by 0 <sighs> obviously so uh, while the variable is less than or equal to the number that they entered it's just going to increment and then it goes to this one it sets the integer to the same value and it, it's basically the same thing as the top one uh, but this is where the thing actually works. It takes whatever number this is. Well, these are both the same. Um, so, say if the number is 2. So, if this is at 2, um, it's already incremented, it's done one iteration. Um, if k is 2, that means j is also 2, because j is equal to k the first time. Um, so, j is 2 and k is 2, and 2 modulus 2 is 0. And then it, what it does is it switches whatever value it has, if it's uh, off, false is off. Um, if it's off, it runs through this and it sees if it's off, it's going to turn it on. Otherwise, if it's on, it's going to turn it off. Um, just like you did with the math. And then um, it loops again and it, it does this uh, until it gets to the number of lights that they entered with the same uh, multiple. So like if it's two, this would, or this would stay 2, but this would go to 3. 3 modulus 2 is not equal to 0, then it would go to 4. 4 modulus 2 is, so it would take the fourth one, and it would switch them like that. And then once that's done, it goes around here again, and it changes this number, since that was 2, and go to 3, and then it would be like 3 modulus 3 is equal to 0, so it would change the fifth, or the third one to either on or off. And then it would be 4 modulus 3, 5 modulus 3, 6 modulus 3 is equal to 0. And then it would do that. And it does that. And once it's done, it comes out here and it prints out um, either 1 or 0, uh, indicating on or off. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then it tells how many are uh, on or whatever. So I'll run it real quick. Um, so you can see... Okay, enter the number of lights you'll be using. Just an example, I'll do three first. So if I enter three, it would show you one zero zero. That would be the third pass. So the first light would be on, the second two would be off. And so one light bulb was on. Um, if I run it again, so you can just see it, how it works, um, I'll type in a hundred like he did. So it actually shows all of uh, every hundred, and it does the squared terms like yours does. So there's 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, and so on and so forth. And then the number of light bulbs on for 100 lights would be 10. So this is the 100th pass what would actually be on. Um, and that's it. Thank you.